We're back with the breakfast uh, time for our first major conversation. Uh, President Muhammad Puhari, I'm sure you uh, already may have heard by now, has penned his signature, taken the green pen and signed. He's assented to the Defense Research and Development Bureau Act 2022, passed uh, by the National Assembly in line with Section 58, subsection 4 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. Now, the Senior Special Assistant to the President on National Assembly Matters at the Senate, Senator Babajide Omoa, uh, Omoa Rari, uh, announced this in a statement in Abuja, uh, the Defense Research and Development Bureau Act of 2022 establishes what is known as the uh, Defense Research and Development Bureau uh, to conduct and coordinate robust research and involvement in the armed forces in Nigeria. I mean, amongst other things, what does this mean uh, for the security sector and for security basically in the defense of Nigeria's territorial integrity, which is what the army uh, does? Uh, Yahuza Getso is a security expert. It's been a while since we had him on the program, and it's great to have Yahuza Getso back. Uh, Yahuza Getso, good morning to you. Good morning. All right, all right. Uh, so, 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 uh, the the research, defense research, development bureau. What exactly is this institution meant to achieve? It's something a bit strange as far as Nigeria's defense uh, um, organizations are concerned. Well, uh, the the primary objective, there are primary, secondary, and the cardinal objective, of which the. The, the institution is expected to have attained and achieved, uh, if at all, it is not like the other policies that uh, uh, President Buhari have been signing, because there are a lot of policies that he has been ascending. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's just a kind of um, uh, a tea break or a kind of a breakthrough to Nigerians for just know for them just to know that uh, uh, the bill has been signed. But uh, uh, I normally laugh, especially in subject to bills that are related to security matters. Uh, so the, the primary objective of the bill uh, is to kind of um, uh, uh, support investigative and uh, formal proceedings of researches related to defense-related matters. And the cardinal objective is to ensure that information collected, collated are being utilized and database of the criminal activities and intelligence gathering, as well as the operational activities uh, kind of um, uh, presented as it is and documented. And um, uh, even somebody from uh, institutions of learning uh, to use a kind of to institutionalize the process of uh, uh, defense activities through research and so on and so forth. And the, the, the core objective as expected is um, to have the, to have the kind of um, a supportive res research. Because when you look at most of the things that we do, it's more or less more of operational and uh, uh, um, uh, more of um, administrative. Uh, but we don't ha really have much to do. Uh, looking at the uh, activities of the Boko Haram, the IPO, the ISWAF, the uh, Ansaru, the, uh, 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 all the other agitations or all the other criminal activities or uh, actions against non-state access that have been, you know, there is have not been kind of um, uh, uh, um, reputable documentation uh, researches to to kind of undergo a kind of um, root cause analysis, uh, root cause studies, uh, investigative information that will go into typing to have a kind of evidence-based facts that you can keep. So these are part of the uh, core objective that is main objectives that are expected for the bill to have attained. Well, um, let's even get into what the public opinion is and what are the expectations of the people. Some people think that uh, investing or having this bill would not solve the insecurity issues, especially in the northern part of Nigeria, and also thinking that it would have been very uh, pertinent for us to pay attention to the issue of job creation and ensuring that we have people uh, getting jobs and having a good life. Uh, what are your thoughts, Yahuza? Well, uh, I think probably uh, the people who are saying that they might not have a good understanding of um, 
the implication or the kind of um, what's really the bill. They need to go in through it through, through the bill. Uh, they need to study what the bill is talking about. Yes, of course, part of what I said, uh, a to governance, solutions to provision of social services, solutions to unemployment, solutions to uh, kind of job creations, solutions to improvement in economic uh, activity, and solutions to also improvement even in the uh, health sector and all, almost all the sector that are attributing into the economy. Uh, it is open and clear. If you have issues related to uh, a kind of um, uh, job uh, uh, unemployment, uh, you have issues of in governance. These are part of the issues that uh, intelligence gathering is supposed to go into it, and they are part of the contributors and attributors to what we are into today. Definitely, uh, if uh, this institution, this bill is implemented or is utilized in accordance with the core objective of the mandate, I had a privilege to look at the draft. I have not seen the final uh, copy of the bill. Uh, so uh, probably there may be one, two, three amendments that have been made, but I know that uh, I had a privilege to have read the draft of the of the bill. And, so, uh, so, part so do of you what think that this would actually this is, bill will help in solving the insecurity issues that were faced? Absolutely, if country. it is utilized and implemented accordingly, we have many bills. We have, you know, the one thing about Nigeria is we have so many passion passion about initiating and coming up with was kind of um, a paperwork. But when it goes to implementing or practicing or detailing or utilizing those items as itemized in the documents, uh, probably you find many things difficult. All right. Um, when we talk about research and development, I mean, uh, of course, we, we're thinking about uh, scientific, um, you know, approaches to, to solving problems like you've just uh, talked about, um, but um, are we are there some dangers that come with uh, scientific, you know, research and development in military sector, defense sector that we need to guard against? Um, we can look at uh, some of the programs in other parts of the world. They try to experiment uh, in, in some things and in some areas, and the effects uh, have had to be be hidden. You know, um, so so what are the things that we should guard against as far as having such a bureau uh, of research into military um, uh, uh, activities or ideas are concerned? Well, I think we need to kind of um, understand a difference even in the scientific research. There are empirical and non-empirical researches, and there are tactical and non-tactical researches. And always when you talk on research, it's more or less conducting a study. And conducting a study is never an element. It's never an, an effect. It's never a danger. It is a sign of commitment and seriousness towards making the findings, either using a different stratified strategies uh, and objective and the kind of measurable indicators or measurable uh, strategies or uh, uh, strategies being used by researchers. Uh, you know, there are a different type of researches, scientific research and the social research. So I, I think uh, both the two uh, will be put together by the, 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 the institution, by what the bill is expected to the kind of um, uh, the, 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 to, to undergo or to, 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 to undertake. So uh, we need to, uh, yes, of course, it is very, very essential and very, very important. When you look at, for example, what is really making it very, very difficult for military to succeed, in their operations is in Nigeria, most especially with regard to uh, a lot of ambush that have been laid against many of the young, agile, vibrant, and focused and patriotic officers in the northeastern part of the country by Boko Haram and the ISOF, and by the northern, northwestern part of the country by Ansaru, ISOF, the Boko Haram, and the bandits, and um, the, the local bandits who cannot even, if you write their name, uh, maybe Edo. Mm -hmm that is MHM, they cannot even be able to write it for you. But they were able to kind of ambush the trained senior military officers and kill them. And likewise, what is happening in many parts of the uh, southern, southeastern part of the country and the south-south of the country uh, is a kind of um, a message for you that inability, it is inability of us to have such a bill and such an institution that have been 
conducting. There are social interactionism that's supposed to have been kind of streamlined and kind of uh, synergized between the social context and the behavioral context in order to have a perspective of a better security and operative relationship, especially between the institutions, the formal institutions, non-formal institutions, and the ordinary person uh, on, the, on, on, the, on the streets in, in respect to what the security is all about. And that is what will give an opportunity for any professional who have been in the barrack, in a cage, who don't even understand the geography of most of this uh, social uh, environment and um, uh, uh, crisis environment, as well as the difficult terrain and hard to reach communities and the behavioral perspective and social perspective. So I think uh, if I really understand very well from the draft I have read, I don't really know what the President Muhammad Buhari finally assigned to because I have not seen the final draft, but uh, the final document. But as far as I'm concerned, from the initial document, from what I have seen, uh, what I, 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 I have read, uh, as far as I'm, it is very, very essential and very, very useful. And it will really help in going along, it will really help going along in, in making effort to stratify it, to come up with the strategies and a way forward to dealing with the security challenges in Nigeria. But uh, uh, try to understand and underline in bold and italic that I have made mention very clear that the, it's not the issue of ascending to the bill, but practitionalizing the bill. That's what matters. And that's the question and doubt I have for Buhari administration. And I really wonder, it is at the end of his tenure that he is ascending to this bill. It is at the end of his tenure that this bill is coming up. Despite the fact that part of what he deceived Nigerians, part of what he deceived Nigerians, especially the common man, especially the civil structures of uh, uh, political and non-political actors who have come up together to have uh, contributed uh, with their uh, social, behavioral, economic, and uh, financial whatever, to have mobilized mass funding, massive, massive funding, massive support for Buhari to become the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is that he is going to deal with the security. He is going to do something to bring an end of the security challenges, especially that of Boko Haram, as well as the inter and inter conflict that occurred as a result of uh, religious and uh, uh, political as well as the geographical victory. But fortunately and unfortunately, if Buhari is signing and ascending to such a bill at this time now, so I wonder what he is really plotting against the incoming government. That is my question. That is one of my uh, my question. And the second question is, all the institutions that we have, what have Buhari made to strengthen their capacity in order to have to have kind of sensitized Nigerians that this bill is very very important and is coming at the right time when it is needed. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, during the years of the 2016, 2017, and 2018, up to 2019, when we have the more uh, security challenges, and even at the time when Buhari administration came into power, during the first eight months, this something like this bill could have been kind of either highlighted well, um, through the institution. There are a lot of yeah, other institutions yeah, who have so. been going, uh, conducting researches to do with the uh, uh, defense. But what have the Buhari administration has the Buhari administration ever utilized that? Go to Google, just not go to Google, arrive. I, I, I want us to, I, I, I want us to still see. Yahuza. Institutions. You have a lot of things that government failed to have utilized. Yahuza, get so. Of charge to deal with the security challenges, yes, please. Well, I, I like us to still, I mean, you have raised uh, some valid points as to implementation which we struggle with as, you know, a nation. I mean, implementation is very apt. Every other time you conceive a policy. And then you also look at, you know, the fact that we always say, I mean, that's in the books. Government is a continuum. But for every, every other time you have policies, I mean, we're going to have a new administration in no time in 2023. Would there be a continuation of some of the policies that this government have been, uh, you know, upon? I mean, that's on the one side, despite, you know, political affiliation. Conversation for another day. Let's also look at some of the issues with the military. Over time, we have had conversation as to um, those who compromise the system, because you have a mall in, 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 in the military or in all of the security app apparatus in the country, whether they be it you know, the military or the police and what have you. 
you have some elements who are there to you know truncate the process uh, do you think that this also caters for solving that problem does he address that problem of those who are in the system who are constantly compromising who are more like informants and what have you compromising the system do you think that this bill caters to or solve that problem well uh, it, it may it may have some highlight of that but it's really not going to be a kind of a result uh, a kind of dr a driver the bill cannot be a result driver to that it is the institution, it is when you have a serious government. It is when you have a government that matters. It is when you have a government that have a business on its debt. The problem with the Buhari administration, in respect to what you have made mention, is because the Buhari administration doesn't have any, any file on its desk in order to look at the issue. It was in the military. Uh, because... Like I keep mentioning, there are three things. One, there is internal sabotage, which the Biden administration refused to accept and deal with. And two, there is negligence, which also the government, the Biden administration, and what I said, the negligence is within the military cycle and within the 27 uh, security operatives that we have. Because in Nigeria, we have 27 security operatives. And as far as I'm concerned, there is internal sabotage, and there is a negligence, and there is absolute lack of political will. Because political will is not all about borrowing money in trillions by the administration from uh, 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 foreign lands in order to say that, yes, I will ensure, I will ensure. Ensure what? When you keep saying that you will ensure and you don't even have a cardinal objective of what to do in order to deal with those who were found wanting within the system, Everybody, even a layman, an ordinary person, knows that research has been made and a lot of evidence-based facts have been presented. And a lot of also uh, petitions as well as the write-ups have been raised and a lot of papers have been presented related to what is in what happening within the military cycle, within the security operative cycle, where they have compromised in many circumstances and in many situations that led us to where we are today. Because as far as I'm concerned, Nigeria is divided into three. There is a governed area, there is ungoverned area, and there is even a free space. That's what you have in Nigeria. And how can you have this? And why should we, why should we have when you have a government? If you really have a government, government backed by the constitution, especially the constitution which I know and which is known to Nigerians, the, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the role expected to play by the military and other security agencies, and you have been a, a kind of a wasting money, because as far as I'm concerned, Buhari administration have wasted huge amount of trade. Right. Um, uh, we're having some sort of a uh, challenge. But yeah, who's again? So we, we have to go. Um, let's let's see what com com becomes of this um, this bureau. Um, the the bill is quite uh, not too bulky. I've also looked at the draft. It's not too bulky. It's just pretty much straight to the point. You know, doesn't say much about the technical, you know, details of what they're meant to do. It just talks about. You know who has the body to have the power to do to buy land, to sell land, to raise money, accept gifts. But I was looking for maybe a, a part of what the bill will say about maybe the technical details of their research. So, you know, give them some sort of idea. But uh, let's see what happens about uh, you know with this bureau going forward. Um, hope we hope to have you back soon to talk about the security situation in the country, even with the whole Naira thing. Uh, because we have some, some news filtering in that there's some sort of unrest at mile 12 area of uh, Lagos State right now. Some sort of civil disobedience going on. Um, so, Yahuza Geso, thank you very much for your time. Yes, go on, please. And probably an attempt to attack Kaduna Abuja train again. So this is where we are in the country. So probably have time to look at these important things uh, maybe next week. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. It's been a great pleasure.
Right. Thank you and goodbye. Okay, we have more discussions ahead of course, sports. Uh, we'll look at how the national teams are fairing in their various competitions. The Flying Eagles are in Casablanca, Morocco. And of course, the Revelation Cup has been on with the Super Falcons uh, losing to Mexico. We'll be right back. <laughs>